Ever wondered what you'd look like as a superhero or maybe a villain? Well, now is the chance to find out. With this new AI tool, creating AI images with your face has become really easy. Upload your photo, describe how you want it to be, and let AI do its magic. I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna use an AI tool called Artflow.ai. Just click the link in the description, and it'll take you to this page. Now click here, and sign up using your Google account. Now to generate AI images of yourself, you need to first train the AI by uploading your photos to it. And to do that, go here, go to Character Builder, click Create Your AI Actor, and as you can see, you can train only one character for free. Now click Upload Photos, select the gender and the age, and enter a name here. Since I'm going to make AI images of myself, I'll enter my name here. Okay, next you need to upload a maximum of 20 photos. You can upload photos with different backgrounds, angles and different facial expressions too. And obviously, avoid photos where your face is covered. Once the training is over, your photos will be deleted automatically so you don't need to worry. Once you've collected the photos, just click here and upload them. and click start training. Now it'll take a few hours to complete the process, so let it wait, and once it's done, go here. If we go to image studio, you can see that it has generated different sample images as a movie character, as a warrior, and many more. They all look pretty cool actually. So let's open this one and see how it looks. All right. The training process is now complete. Now let's generate a new image. Simply click on create new image and it'll take you to this page. Here, select the image type you want, whether you want to generate a portrait or any general image. I'm gonna leave it on general. And now right below this, you can see we have this director mode. If you enable it, you will be able to adjust how much of the character you want in the frame, like having a close up or a full shot or even a medium shot. If you go here, you can select the angle in which your character is facing. You can also change the position of the character like this. All right, now here, you need to give a detailed description of what you want the image to look like. Remember, the more details you give, the better the final result will be. Instead of wasting time sitting and thinking about all the details to enter here, we have an AI tool that can generate the perfect description for your image. All you have to do is just give it an idea. So to use this tool, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Here, answer all these questions like what you want to include in the image, the art form that you'd like to use and click create content. And as you can see, we've got four different image prompts. Just go through all of them and copy the one you like. I'm gonna copy this one and then go back to Artflow. Now click here and select a trained AI character. And paste the prompt here. If there are some things that you don't want in the image, you can just enable this option and mention them here. Once you're done, just click here and select the image style you want and click generate. As you can see, we've got four different images based on our prompt. They look pretty cool, right? Personally, I like this one, so I'm gonna download it. Just right click on it. Click here. And select all files. Give a name here. Add .png at the end and click save. Okay. Let's try to create another image. First, we need to get the prompt. So let's go back to Gravity Write, generate the prompt like we did before. Then copy and paste it here.
So let's close this and add a new style. This time, let's change the style to 3D cartoons and click generate. Wow, it's amazing to see myself in cartoons. Okay, if you go here and click on image studio, you can see all the images that you generated. With the free version of Artflow, you get 100 credits every month and every time you generate four images, one of those credits will be used. If you need more credits, you can check out their paid plans. So that's it guys. This is how you can make AI images by using your own face. Now it's your turn to get creative and start making your own AI images. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.